Okay, everyone loves the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and nothing beats the turkey and the stuffing. But for me, the best part of Thanksgiving is the National Dog Show. And we have John O'Hurley and David Fry, the hosts of the National Dog Show here with us. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Thank you. Thank nice you. to be with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you both have been hosting the show for quite some time. What's the best part of hosting the National Dog Show for you guys? Well, I think the fact that uh, there are the, the sheer volume of dogs uh, is a, a little uh, enticing when you think of the number. We have nearly 2,000 of the top dogs in the country that are competing uh, for best in show, and that uh, represents some 200 different breeds, and that means every shape, size, and conformation of, of canine is here. Yes. How about for you, it's David? like an annual. It's like an annual convention almost. Now all the dog show people want to be here. They work to get here. We bring it to the rest of the world, and it's fun for all of us with the dogs. How can you go wrong on this great family holiday? Yes, that's so wonderful. I mean, the biggest question that a lot of us here at the station had for you guys is, how are you not freaking out all the time when you're around all of these dogs? I mean, you gotta you gotta think that everybody at home would be absolutely smitten to be around all of these amazing dogs. <laughs> well, you, uh, we, we really do. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the last of the benched shows. A benched show means that all of the dogs, the owners, the handlers, they all have to remain on campus during the show. Mm -hmm. So that all the people that are there, and we may have a live audience there of anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people, wow. they all get to walk up and down the aisles. They're allowed to put their hands on the dogs, get to know the dogs, talk to the owners. And if for some reason they're looking for a particular breed or a possible breed, uh, they can have a lot of questions answered. So so it's not only an interactive day, but a very educational one. Mm. Absolutely. That absolutely makes sense. Now, I do want to ask you guys, I know I asked you briefly before our interview started, but can you each describe to me who you have on your lap there with you? <laughs> well, I have, uh, this is Monkey, a 12-year-old Coton de Toulier. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful breed with a cotton type of coat on it, and I mean it Pima cotton. Um, it's actually a, a beautiful, beautiful breed and a beautiful lap dog, as you see. Um, he's 12 years old, which is a little bit old for a competitor, but has done very, very well uh, in judging competitions. Wow. And I have True Dat, my own dog, my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, came to work with me today and uh, she wanted to see what her daddy does. Oh. So uh everybody's got their own dog and i know when you're sitting at home watching our dog show you've got a dog on the couch with you just like we do root for your dog's breed i call it the alma mater factor i'm always rooting for the oregon ducks no matter who they play i want you to root for your breed no matter where they are in the dog show we'll get them to you somehow ah. I'm so happy you say that because you know that I root for my breed. Now, I'm happy you brought it up because I want to tell you guys a little bit about my breed and you guys tell me whether or not uh, she would be able to qualify as a top dog. So I have a little schnauzer. She's a miniature schnauzer. Uh, she is party colored, so definitely a different coloring, which I heard is actually not great when it comes to showing. Um, and she is nine pounds, which I think is rather small for a miniature schnauzer. So guys, what do you guys think? That's in show <laughs> <laughs> best in show the real the real best in show dog is the one that's sitting next to you on the couch at home anyway so hug your dog watch our show and cheer for the miniature schnauzers hey that is the right answer david i love that so much so what does make the best in dog what a best in show dog david what do you think i know you were a former judge and john i would love to hear your opinion too what do you really look for for that top competitor number one dog well, they've got to be a great specimen of their breed. They have to fit the standard. The ideal specimen of that breed is described in the, that standard and judged by the judge. But they also have to be a show dog. It's a dog show, and you got to show. And that's part of it. Call it personality, um, uh, excitement for, for everybody there. And that's, that's part of the deal, too. Mm. Yes, incredible. Well, guys, thank you both so much for taking the time. Thank you to your sweet pups right there in your lap as well. And I really do love that answer that the best in show is really the one sitting right next to you, rooting for you guys on the couch as well. So happy Thanksgiving. Thank you again so much, guys. We can't wait to see the show. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you. All right, guys, and you can catch the National Dog Show presented by Purina on Thanksgiving Day right here on NBC. We can't wait to see you there.